you know, one of the things we both of us have talked about for a long time is the importance of a conceptual model. Sure. And the fact that, you know, the designer has some model of what this thing is and the person using it is trying to figure out what the model is and the only thing to go on is the device itself. And you said you had trouble with this. And it looks to me like it's a pretty straightforward bowl. So what's the story? Well, I, I came across this at a hotel in, in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. They had a whole big stack of them jumbled up for us to put our breakfast cereal in. And so I made the mistake of putting my breakfast cereal in it. I happen to have some cereal here. So I poured the, uh, the cereal into the bowl and then I added some milk. And I do like my milk, so. Um, All the way up to the rim. Yeah, because that's just the way I like it. And then I put it down on the table. Ah. <laughs> because the base of the bowl is at an angle to where the bowl is. Um. Now that does not require an, a, a warning notice, that requires a redesign. So the conceptual model of a bowl is that it's flat yes. and horizontal. And, and, that's what and as long expect. as you're holding it this way, it looks like it is, right? Yes, and particularly the way it was jumbled one bowl on top of the right. other. So there, if actually there was you nothing that let you if know. You, you were holding it in your hand when you filled it. If you had filled it while it was on the table, Right. Then it would have been okay. Yes. Except you maybe couldn't have put as much milk in as yeah. you want. But this is a breakfast buffet, so you're standing there with the bowl in your hand. Now what was it, it was intended for was to make a nice presentation for having the chef fill this bowl and then a waiter bring it out to your table. Mm -hmm. So they'd press it into a different service. 